morning, Cheeks. We're gonna do a quick uh, video on your new Generlink install backup transfer switch, uh, full house power. So today, that's uh, we're gonna do an install. <laughs> What's in the box, Paul? <laughs> this is for you. The Generlink. Woohoo! <laughs> I have backup power. <laughs> so my videos will always be going live. The house lights don't work. The floodlights don't work. Maybe the kids have been fooling around with it. I'll check them back. Got it. Right, thanks Paul. And we're gonna go through the motions on what's going on here. Apparently we're waiting for Hydro to show up and they what? They close, they disconnect. They're gonna remove the meter base, install the Generlink, reconnect the meter base. All at the same time? And then, All at the same time. And then and then after that. Always connected. It's it's already done. We're done. Easy peasy. Easy it's peasy. just like a piece that just sits on. Plug and play. Plug and play. You and so it. we got the we got the meter part and we got a 40 foot 30 amp cable that's correct so that'll give me 30 amps that's right oh my god <laughs> what should I save in the house <laughs> <laughs> all right so I'm excited Paul's excited so we're up here in Cobalconk at the Cheeks home here and I have a generator Generac generator which you said is perfect that's right 7500 watts and we did a video on that don't forget to check that out that was fun <laughs> so we're waiting for Hydro. Let's go in and uh, chill out, have a quick coffee, and we'll be back shortly when Hydro shows up. Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna turn the power off. Yeah. We're unplugging power here, turning it off. We're gonna remove the load. Removing the load, all right. Are we good to go? Yeah, good. Okay, there it is. It's not too big. No. It looks like a big tea can. But it's costly tea can. <laughs> About fifteen hundred bucks. What? what? Cancel this whole job. <laughs> I don't need power. <laughs> okay, let's go see what's going on over here. Yeah. Crazy light. So that's your transfer switch. Okay, so I just, uh, just pop it in, plug and play. This is the automatic transfer switch right here. Cool. Okay. Okay, now what? Well, now we're going to re reinstall the Are meter. we there yet? Is this going to go on? <laughs> yep, okay. All right. Okay, I'm just putting the final touches on. Okay, there it is. We put the top piece back on. It shows everything everyone's used to. And Paul will be back. And then we'll uh, test this out. Oh my friends, Paul is back and we're ready to rock with the generator. This goes with a 40 foot cord or I ordered a 40 foot cord, you're gonna get a smaller one, but you it's could. better to be longer than shorter, right? Story of my life. <laughs> so there you got it. We've uh, getting this ready. Now all we need to do is plug this cord in here and here's the uh, plug and you pop it in and it just turns on if the generator's on, indicator lights knows it's on utility, uh, what is it, utility power? Utility power's present right now. Okay. Utility power's present. Once we connect the generator, the transfer switch will initiate and run off the generator. Cool. Okay. So if you, if we still have power, technically if this is plugged in, we're running on generator. Correct. But if you do plug this in, it's still gonna run only if the generator is not running. So you need to plug this in to get on the generator. Right. Okay, I'm good. This is new for me. <laughs> so we can plug this in and then turn this on? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. My first attempt to plug into alternate power. You got it, you got the, yeah. the there's a the lock right here. Yeah, push right it in the center. Yeah, turn it. Yeah. Okay, there's a the click. Start her up again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna leave the breaker off. Generator on. One pole pole. He's a man here. <laughs> okay, that's our main breaker for the generator. We're gonna turn this on. Okay, we'll just switch. We just switch. Now 
Okay, so the blue light's on. That means we're running. That's right. Woohoo, we got power. And that's it. Easy peasy. So we're just gonna wrap up here. Paul's gonna answer a few questions for anyone who's contemplating whether to do this for their house. Now, I guess everybody may have this question. It's like, why would you do this, Paul? It uh, provides you backup power, right? So in those times when the power goes out, uh, ice storms, wind storms, uh, you know, when utility can't supply you power, you, uh, you can fire up your generator, wheel it out of the ground, uh, out of the garage, and uh, run off, uh, you know, your portable generator, as opposed to having a uh, a, a complete standby um, generator that would run you upwards of fifteen thousand for those big natural gas ones. Exactly right. So, uh, fully automatic home system. This is your. This is to get you through the rough rides. That's it's right. It's not supposed to be a like a full time thing. It's for like when we have a crazy storm, you're not going to be stuck, and we are on a well and septic. So. The set the toilets will work until you flush them and put water in it. But if the water's not pumping because it takes electricity, electricity, <laughs> electricity <yeah. laughs> you need to plug into the hydro for the water pump in the well to pump the water in. Now, this is probably your only way I can think of. There might be something else you could do, but this is we can get water, so that's something that why we need it here on the well. And it's an approved piece of equipment, yeah. There's a lot of ways around this where guys kind of do back door mechanic stuff where you know it's not safe you could electrocute yourself yeah. um this is this is a plug and play system um approved by your local utility csa yeah. uh it's it's the way to go for sure if you're just looking for a cost effective so don't you know, cut corners when it comes to electricity no <laughs> no and i heard this is this has been hard to get like, we've been waiting months for this. Like, months. what's going on? Why is there no gender links? Where are they? Global pandemic. <laughs> Blame everything on the pandemic. Right, right. <laughs> but we are ahead of schedule. You said maybe in October we'd wait, and then finally a couple came in. That's right, that's right. So we lucked out here, and uh, apparently, if you can um, if you can get one of these, you're out in the country, because I think that's probably the best deal. If you're in the city, it doesn't hurt. Right. It's up to you, right. really. Yeah. So one thing you do have to consider, though, when you do have this sort of a setup, is the amount of load that you put onto the generator. Yeah, you were talking about that. So, so typically, if you're using this and it's running right now, what should you do if you're going to use this? So if we have pool equipment, hot tub, uh, unnecessary loads, we go down to the breaker panel, have those breakers marked, turn them off. All this is mainly for is your necessary essential loads. So your well. Um, you know, uh, hot water tank hot here. Hot water tank. Yeah, you need if, hot, it, if you need hot water. If you um, don't need it, just turn it off. That's right. If your if, if your generator's not handling it, you're probably gonna know. Oh. I got two fridges in here, and they were running. Yes. So that's good. Yes. Um, and if you got desperate, you can turn unplug your fridge for a while. It will last for a while if you don't open the door. Sure, it's gonna so, be almost eight hours. Yeah. So sure. you're gonna have to gauge that at your house, but at least I have water. So I'm happy, and internet. My, my furnace needs a fan. It does. Yeah, and yeah. you need internet. Everybody loves internet. They can't if you don't go on internet, you're screwed, right? Right. You know, people buy homes now, and they check the internet. If there's no internet sufficiency for internet, they ain't buying the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> and so, kids love gaming. Don't get them upset. <laughs> essential loads, right? Essential so, loads. You know, we're not gonna cook a turkey. We probably could but you're gonna turn off the fridge, the freezer. Um, you know, you can boil a pot of water, you can run the kettle, you know, up to your 7,500 watts. The perfect thing about this is once you go over uh, what your generator is capable of outputting, the yeah. breaker right here mm -hmm. on the generator is gonna trip. Yeah, this is gonna trip. Yeah. So if this trips, you go in, you turn off a couple of loads, you fire it back up, turn your breaker back on, and away you go. Cool. And I, uh, what is like a typical setup here roughly for anyone thinking about getting something like this setup? It depends on your utility. Uh, 
Yourself, you have Hydro One here, so yeah. you're allowed one free Hydro disconnect. One, we're in Quarta Lakes, Cobaca. You're one free disconnect, reconnect per year. Yeah. Um, if you get to some of the smaller in-town utilities, uh, Toronto Hydro charges for the disconnect, reconnect, uh, anywhere's around 300 bucks. Um, and then the generator yourself, so the Jenner Link, you're averaging with the 40 foot cord, anywhere's from, you know, 13, 1500 bucks. Uh, and then a generator, this one here. That was sure a, that was like 950 bucks. 950 bucks. So you know, for 2,500 bucks, you're running as opposed to a uh, a full standby uh, Generac system that's going to cost you anywhere it's, from 12 to 15. It's peace of mind. I got power. Right. And this is the least expensive way to do it without getting the big crazy Generac. That's the baby Generac. That's the baby. So the big one's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. how many times are we going to use this? I don't know. Three times a year? You maybe? never know, right? Because most of the time power goes out, it's usually for only an hour or two. That's right. Or it just flickers. Right. So we can live with that stuff. Yeah. So That's anyways, uh, thanks for helping out, Paul. What do and you think? It's amazing. When you had that running, I was like, I'm so excited, but I'm always excited. So, <laughs> it's a new product. <laughs> so now we're waiting for the power to go out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing to consider is uh, when you are running the generator, keep it at least 10 feet away from uh, any open windows, doors, keep it away from the house, just so Watch none, the exhaust. Of, none of those fumes go, you know, especially when you've got basement windows uh, that are low to the ground, that uh, those fumes will travel, you mm -hmm. know, towards the window, so. So, uh, Paul, how can they get a hold of you and where do you service? Uh, GTA, uh, Quarthas, uh, Halliburton area. Um, you can get, get us on, uh, on our website, compatibleelectric.ca, or our office number, 905-557-1616. Uh, uh, shoot us a link, and uh, we'll come over and give you a quote. And don't remember, everybody, I will post all that information in the description, so relax. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody, thank you for watching. Appreciate the sport. Live life without cheers, and power out. Pull out. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>